In this quick video, I want to give you the backstory on how and why managing happiness came into existence. I've always been very focused on business and I've been decently good at it. But for many years, I've been neglecting every other aspect of life. My health, my fitness, my family, my wife, relationships with others. And I've been a one-trick pony really focusing on business. And one day I came home from a meeting about roles and responsibilities in my business back then. And I was sitting on the couch and my daughter Emma was, or our daughter Emma was still in diapers back then. I told my wife like, hey honey, Emma has a full diaper. And she got really upset at me because she thought I'm telling her to change the diaper, which was not my intention. I was just making a tired observation. And then I realized, or I thought about like, why are we fighting about this right now? And then I realized we had never talked about the roles and responsibilities that we have in our household. And the very next morning we sat down and we spelled out the roles and responsibilities that we have and what she expects of me and what I expect of her. And this clarity took away 80% of the friction that we had in our relationship. And I thought, holy cow, what if we apply other business principles to our personal life? turn this into a course for families to run your family life the same way you'd run a successful business because a business is also just a group of people that wants to have harmony no friction and common goals and achieve those goals together and we've spent gazillions of dollars into making business operate better and it's beautiful that we can just like borrow from there and apply it to our our family life and then this evolved further uh, before, so it was, before it was just a DIY, a do-it-yourself online course where I had a very low completion rate, which was really bugging me because I was doing this more for impact than for money. So I only had a 7% completion rate. From 100 people who buy the course, only 7 completed it. And initially I thought like, oh my god, my course must be terrible. People do not complete it. But then I found out that this is actually a decent completion rate for a DIY course. Yeah, so I want to find a way to get this into people's heads and hearts and lives. And so we came up with cohort-based coaching where people get together in a group and you go through the content together. This can be in person or this can be online uh, one hour a week. And uh, this worked wonders. And we have a 93% completion rate now, coming from a 7% to a 93%, you know, a complete flip. And so this is what Managing Happiness is today. It's a cohort-based coach course where you define your mission, vision, and values and your goals and your habits. And you do this together with like-minded people. And positive peer pressure is a beautiful thing with social animals. It just works when you do this together with like-minded people. And the peer learning is also really, really powerful. When you, have, you struggle with something, it doesn't have to come from the guide of the course. It often comes from your peers. And this has been resulted in lots of friendships, business partnerships, etc. So it's been really, really powerful. So if you want to check it out, go to managinghappiness.com, sign up, and I'm looking forward to going through the course with you, me or, or one of our guides.